Think about the wealth, the total wealth that the families have in the United States. And to think about it this way. Suppose we think about a ladder. And the first rung of that ladder is at $100,000. If you up, up to the first rung of that ladder, you're at $100,000. Let's say that's one foot off the ground. Over half of Americans wouldn't even be at that first rung. By the way, they were five years ago. But now they're not. Over half of Americans wouldn't be there. <clears throat> so it'd be great just to get that first rung. Imagine getting up 10 rungs. So you'd be at a million dollars. That's 75% of Americans aren't even close to that. But that, we're not even close to where we're going to be. So if you're really lucky, you're 10 feet up at a million dollars. What about the billionaires? They're two miles up. What about Bill Gates? He's 60 miles up on that ladder. That's what inequality really means and how big it really is in this country. There's so much evidence that young people today, especially the kids being born today, are not getting even the same opportunities that people had 20 years ago. It's a terrifying time because what matters is equality of opportunity. And by the way, that's what really matters to people around the country. We don't have, we're losing our chance to really have one nation because our children are being denied the opportunity to get ahead. We talk about one nation, one nation under God, and yet increasingly the kinds of people that are our future are the kinds of people both in this room and the kinds of people you fight for every single day. And yet those people often have the least advantages. We see growing evidence that children in this country are, because of the family situation, because of the income in the household and so forth, they get less time with their parents. They go to worse schools. Their focus is less and less on, just, more and more on just getting by. That is our future. Our nation, it's no longer just enough to say, gee, it's too bad, it's unfair, it's, uh, in, it's unequal. The future of the United States will depend on the workers that are being raised in those families today. And right now, we're in a terrible, terrible situation.